Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I just wanted to make another update. Um, I think the last update that I made was like um, four months ago, I guess. It was four months after I got my surgery. So it's probably been about eight months since my surgery now. Wow, eight months. That's crazy. Um, so I guess, wow, I, you know, just looking at myself right now, I'm just like amazed about, I mean, I looked just a year ago, I just looked horrible. I looked disgusted with my life and I just can't believe how far I've come in oh, just a year. It's just, it just amazes me. I'm like, I feel like crying right now. I just can't, I can't even get over this. Like, I really, I look at, um, like, just a, a year ago, and, I mean, besides being heavier than I was, I mean, I just, I remember how I was, I, I you know, I was just in my room, and I never left my room, I was ashamed of myself, I didn't want to be around people, um, I was afraid to be around people and I just felt disgusted with myself. I, I was so heavy that I just was just like, you know, I don't want people seeing me like this. Um, it just boggles my mind to see how far I've come. Um, I, I mentioned in some of my videos before how um, I didn't have a job, I wasn't doing anything with my life, and I honestly wasn't. For years, I sat in my room, and I did nothing. I was in a pity party, and I, I didn't want to get out of it. Well, maybe I did, who knows. But, um, well, if I wanted to, I could have. That's what I'm saying. Like, people, they, 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 they're in their own little pity party, and they say, oh, I want to, I want to. Well, if you want it too bad enough, you do it. And you know what? I got sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I did it. I couldn't, couldn't take it no more. And, um, you know, after my surgery, I mean, okay, let's say, see, I've lost over, a little over 80 pounds. And I can't believe it, but I'm actually going to put myself out there like this right now with my whole weight thing. And I'm just going to say that at one point in my life, I weighed over 400 pounds. Okay? Over 400 pounds. I weighed like 430. And, um, yeah, that's a lot of weight. And right now... I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put myself out there right now. I weighed 295. Okay, when I went into surgery, I was a little over 370. So I think that's about 80 pounds. I don't know, it's, it's 80 pounds. But all together, I mean, from when I, I weighed over 400 pounds, that's like, I've lost over 100 and like, 20 some pounds, 130 pounds. That's amazing. I feel great. I have so much more confidence. Like, okay, I'm not to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm hot, you know? But I feel a lot better than I did. I still have my moments. I'm sure everybody has their moments, but I feel good. I feel really good. I can fit into jeans now. Oh my gosh, I can fit in the jeans. And, um, what else? Like, just, I don't worry about fitting into things anymore, like tables and stuff like that. You know, like I was talking in my last video. I went on rides finally this summer. I felt good. Um, and I found a church. And I'm so happy I found a church. And I think just getting closer to God. Like, I'm not trying to get religious, but I'm going to get religious here. It's not even religious. It's just me saying my testimony. God has, he has helped me so much. I, I got baptized a few weeks ago. 
it's just to renew my, you know, say, you know what, God, my life is in your hands. Because, you know, the moment I put my life into God's hands, I mean, it doesn't get, it doesn't, my, your life doesn't get perfect. Just because you, you know, give your life to God. In fact, it probably gets harder. But you get through it. And God gives you the strength. And you don't get so upset. It's like a, a weight is lifted off your shoulders. I wish everyone could feel that. Like, it's just, you know, the things that used to bother you before. I mean, it might bother you a, li bother you a little bit. But it's nothing compared to what it was. Like, you, it, you just brush it off and move on with your life I'm telling you man I've I've been going to college I enrolled in college and I've been going for about two months now and I'm going for social work so I can help kids out later on I'm so happy and so excited I don't have a job yet but I'm going to college so that's a step I'm trying to get used to like getting into a routine again because for how many years five years more than five years I've been in a ditch and I thought I couldn't get out of it and now here I am going to school I'm so involved in my church and I, I mean I love my church family they have been such a blessing and <laughs> God has been a blessing to me because I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him and I'm just saying that he has gotten me through so much. I mean, I I was to a point when I was younger where I wanted to die. And I, I, I cut myself and I felt disgusted. And I was in a horrible relationship for two years. I, w I was abused. And, you know... I've had my heart broken many times, many times, but here I am stronger than ever, and it's all because of the Lord. He has gotten me through that, and I thank Him for that every day. Every day I wake up, I thank Him for allowing me a chance to live my life over and for Him. So, yeah, <laughs> it's been a long journey but I really feel like all this has happened for a reason because if I didn't go through all this I wouldn't be able to you know really help people and, and connect with them like I want to I'm to a point in my life where I don't care about anything I don't care about these this stuff like material things and stuff I just want to do God's work and I want to help others and that's all I care about. There's so many people in this world who are dying from hunger and diseases and they're homeless. Children are out in the streets homeless and sick and hungry. And, you know, we're all, we're in this, uh, this bubble where we're, all we care about is, oh, the iPods, new iPods are coming out and all these electronics and all I want this big house and these new cars like that don't, that's not going to matter when you're dead that none of that is going to matter you got to live for right now and you need to take care of the people that need taking care of and like people say you know before my surgery like people were worried like oh you're going to change you know you're going to lose weight and then you're going to go and you're going to party and you, you know you're going to go crazy like God has really changed me from, I don't even want to do any of that no more. I have no interest. I just want to live for Him. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy. I'm happy being like an old woman. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just, you know, it's Friday, Saturday nights, nice, going to church events or staying home and watching a movie. I don't even want to party. I don't want to do none of that. I have no, you know, no interest. I'm still single. I'm, I get lonely, but I'm, I'm just trying to learn to have patience and leave it in God's hands. And it's hard because I really want to find someone, but I know God has someone at, like out there who is going to treat me good because of all that heartache I've been through. I know He has someone out there who's going to make it. 
they're going to make it up. And I'm going to say, oh, you know, all that pain I've been through, it was worth it to get to where I am now, to have who I have now. And, you know, I'm just trying to just give it all to the Lord. All of it. But I'm in a good place. I've lost over 80 pounds. I'm in college. And, oh, I like people now. I love getting around people. I love, you know, you know, just sh being around people. I love it. Like, I used to never talk in school. And now I go into school and I raise my hand. And I'm like, I like it. I like, t I'm like talking to people. It's so great. Like, I feel so good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm never going back to the way it was before. And let me tell you something. If you feel like you're in a ditch and you think you can't get out of it, you can. Because I was in the biggest ditch ever and I got out of it. And you can too. And it doesn't, and it helps. It helps to seek God with all your heart. Give all of it to Him. People say, I've tried God and don't work. That's because you didn't allow Him. To help you. you. You thought you did. But you didn't. You have to allow him. You have to say you know what. I give it all to you. And that's when he'll help you. I'm telling you. From experience. So. Here I am. And I'm happy. And I wish everybody who's getting the surgery. Good luck. And um, anybody who's fighting battles. Or anything. You're going to get through it. And it's going to be okay. And if anybody wants some advice, someone to talk to, um, send me a message on here. Or maybe I could like put my address somewhere on the screen. My email address. And you can uh, contact me. Alright, this is a long video. 12 minutes. Okay, I'm done right now.